Alright, hello again everybody, and welcome back to World of Tanks Generals. Today we are playing some of the second armored, and uh, I think we were going first, seemingly. So this is actually a pretty okay hand. Alright, so he's probably an assault deck. So yeah, sorry I started a little late, um, uh, my recording software sort of wasn't capturing the screen at first, so I had to like, quickly restart it and stuff. So that's why we missed the initial, like, the spin, the bullet spin thing. I don't know what else to call it. Shell spin, I guess, would be a good word, because it's not a bullet, it's a, um, shell, I guess, you could say. I don't know. I don't know, I'm a scrub, you know? So this guy completely wasted his thing, because he didn't notice a mountain pass. And I mean, of course we're going to use a mountain pass, because we're not stupid. Not, not saying you are stupid if you don't want to use Mountain Pass, that's completely understandable, it's just, in this exact scenario, it makes sense to use it. And I don't care about saving credits. Some people do, and that, that's understandable. I would just rather win. Putting this down here just because, just in case he is somehow going to produce tanks, I want it down here. <coughs> Like, I'd rather have the T-21 go in first, than have this follow second with this behind it. That's just, it's just my preference. It's just how I prefer things to occur. I would have rather not even played it yet, and just held on to it and played something better, but, I mean, and, uh, may as well, and I have three resources left. May as well. And there's three resources left. Alright, so yeah, this is a different list than the last time I played, that's why I'm playing this. I'm just going to go through every list that has changed. As you noticed, I did put a little, um, uh, like in parentheses, changed around a couple lists. So those will give you a hint as to what's next, because it lets me know what's different. It lets me know exactly what's different than um, uh, last time I recorded. Too bad we don't have nine. I would love to have nine. Oh, but look. Another Wolverine. Cool. Cool. You know what? I am going to actually hammer that squad, even though I say never do it. I want to remove one damage from him. Hopefully the card he draws is less useful. <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry about that. I mean, we did give up a card for not a lot of benefit, but... I mean, maybe he draws something not as good. That did not occur. Did not at all occur. Alright. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll kill that. Don't worry. Alright. Okay, just had to make sure it was just camo and defense that they'd lose. I was pretty certain it was. Because if it was something, like, more, I'd be a little bit worried. Alright, and the good thing is, about him deploying units, is it does heal us. It really does heal us. Him killing our units also heals us. So this is okay. This is very okay. Healing is great, really. <coughs> And I forgot to check the position of the uh, offensive squad I put in. I think it is an artillery squad, though. Not certain, but I'm pretty sure it's an artillery squad. Alright, we're going to take that. Just kind of for free, we're going to take that. Hmm. It's an interesting choice, but, I mean, we can't, really. I mean, there was really no good way for us to kill that with this. I mean, we could have, like, taken damage on that, but we don't... We don't want to be having our units damaged. So we have seven cards to his five... Seven to his five. We might want to, like, start pulling back, because... He's obviously not an aggressive deck, like I thought he was initially. Like, he really did show a lot of aggression to begin with, but... 
now he's really kind of stopped, so... Might want to consider pulling back and saving my units, because this might become a board control game, where, like, control over the board wins it. And if I lose those two units, that could be really bad for me. Because I am matching his damage output, and I do have more health, so I could afford to pull back. <coughs> Alright, I lost my um, Wolverine. No, I did not lose my Wolverine. Cool. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, I guess we don't pull back. Because he is an aggressive deck. I want to put the damage on here, just because then he can't kill it without a squad. Alright, we'll start milling, I guess. Can't hurt. Alright, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 5. So in this scenario, we probably won't lose all of these without trading a couple cards. So we can afford to lose a few. <coughs> <coughs> because he is... Like, this is weird. He's showing... Things that show that he's kind of like an aggressive deck, like I thought. But he's also showing things that say he's not. So... I'm not entirely sure how to play this. Just honestly, I'm not. But I'll keep playing this like this because it's, well, seemingly working. I'll pull that out just so we can't shoot it without deploying a unit. I guess it's always good not let him shoot things without deploying a unit, unless I have him brig locked, of course. So, 7-4... Alright, this is like a 500 power deck, though, so... I mean, it'd be weird to make an aggressive 7th at this power level, but... I mean, he... he might have, is the thing. He might have done that, because 7th can do that. 7th can actually do that. Defensive units with this HQ are actually really great, because they do... They're also a heal for one, but we're not using this like that. There's three. We have four damage in hand. So he needs to play a defense. He needs to play a defensive squad to prolong this one turn. Basically, basically, he needs to prolong this one turn with a defensive squad. Is what he needs. Because we, I mean, we even have seven on the board, so. There's a defensive squad. Two, four, six, seven. So we'll deal seven. Get rid of that squad. <coughs> okay. So we will remove the squad, and then we'll do one. Seven. There's one. We're two damage shy. Two damage shy of actually winning this turn, but we'll probably win next turn. Unless he plays another scout, I guess, because then we won't be able to quite kill it. We won't quite be able to kill it. But, I mean, every turn that I mean, this... Oh, okay, so we win. Two... Three... Let's see if we draw something. Oh, okay. Alright, so now, when you can win, just always take the victory. Like, always take the victory. <coughs> I mean, I dealt as much as I could to that. I don't know what I was hoping to draw, honestly. There's nothing I could draw that would let me deal more damage to that, because resources 
Right, on to the next battle. Alright, welcome back, guys. Again, my recording software failed on me, which sucks, but whatever. So we missed the spin, but I am also going first here, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we will definitely actually bring Mountain Pass against a Kermark. Because Kermark loves to deploy units rapidly. Or it's an aggressive Kermark. It could be either one of those, but all the Kermarks are basically, um, uh, they all want to deploy a lot of cards on turn one, definitely. So we're just going to try to halt that. We we aren't as we aren't as big of fans as rapid unit deployment as he is probably. So yeah. <coughs> because yeah, especially since we don't have many units, especially none that are particularly strong. Like T eighty two is more of a defensive unit. We're not going to be deploying that anytime soon. Because he probably is a unit deck. He probably is wanting to deploy a lot of units. The Stewart we might want to hold on to for maybe his um, uh, Vespa or whatever. Maybe for him to play an Artie so he can actually take advantage of that. But we might not. If he plays a light tank, we might also want to play it. Or we might just want to play it. Next turn, our move is almost definitely T40 into Telephonus. Because I can't think of a better move, quite honestly. T40, Telephonus, get the Telephonus out of the way. Just... So we have them down, and yeah, it could be important. Could be. Probably isn't, but it could be. Defensive squads aren't as big of a deal with the second, but you still run them because, um, uh, Uterbog and, um, the seventh exist. Alright, that's not our play now. Now we are actually going to kill that Grilly. I think it's how you pronounce it. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's how I've always pronounced it. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. No, because if I had ten, I would do that, but I don't, so. So we are. Just going to deploy this. Deploy the T40. And we're going to support this grilly down. I think is how you pronounce it. Sorry. Sorry. Alright. Four, five, six, seven to his seven, so we're even on cards, which is good, but I mean, Mountain Pass mostly did that. Mountain Pass going first is almost absurd. It's really sort of ridiculous. Just exactly how strong that is, because it is very strong, because it does sort of just give you an instant card advantage. Well, not card advantage, but evens up the cards for you, in your favor. Which is a card advantage, because you're making them lose their only advantage for going second. So you're just gaining a tempo, and still keeping your card, basically, is how it works. It's basically how it works. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we are going to deploy the priest. And the telephonist. We are going to move this up, hoping to draw a unit over there. And we're just going to attack him. Because, I mean, we can sustain this three damage longer than he can, but I was kind of silly there because I forgot about this. Yeah. Don't forget about things like that. That would have been bad if this would have had something else to shoot, but since it didn't, that's no harm. I'd rather make that mistake now when it doesn't matter. So otherwise, it just wouldn't have been shooting. And Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. I could trade the steel fist into that, but it's not going to happen because he is going to already do that. Okay, the Vespa, Vespa, Vespa is going to die. The Vespa is definitely going to die. I didn't realize until now that he actually brought the emergency resources. Brought the emergency resources instead of. Support for eight to his seven to 
seven, so we do have a car advantage. We're pro we're going to lose it right here because he's okay. So he's going to kill it with a Vespa and get three cards back. All right, three cards back works for him, but that's all this card is going to do. Like he's going to get nothing else out of this. go we want to get rid of that though actually do we three yeah let's just get rid of that it is a card that he has so that means we don't like it it's just how this works I don't think it makes a key difference but it could because it could make it so this could kill that later because three and then four and then it is down to one, but I mean, <coughs> I don't know. I kind of want. All right, it does. It did make a difference because now he could have killed this this turn, but now he can't kill this this turn. Two, four, six. Okay, two, four, six. I guess I'm not going to deal with that. Not all going to deal with that, but he's going to deal with this. All right, dealing with that. Okay, three, six. Four, five, six. six. Hmm, hopefully he uses that repairs repair crew. That'd be pretty cool of him to do. Help us mill him. But for right now, we're just going to do this. I guess it did make a difference, because it gave us one more damage. Four, five, six, seven, six. Just six. So yeah, I don't I don't regret that decision, I guess. I don't regret the decision at all. Thanks, buddy. That was actually pretty nice of him. To crush us. I mean, not the shooting the T-40. That's not a good thing, but crushing us. Drops our HP a bit, so we can actually use our ability a bit more, you know? It's always, that's nice of him. That's, that's a nice thing he did there. Eight to seven, eight to seven. The crush also lost some card advantage because our HP is not a relevant thing. We heal it. So that crush, not relevant to this game, lost him a turn, so gives us a tempo advantage. And on top of that, on top oh cool, another one. On top of this tempo advantage, it lets us take more advantage of the dying units because a lot of units will start dying and if we were at full health, hey, we wouldn't we weren't have gotten that healing because we can't like overheal. We can't heal past 22. So now we're down 10. So the next 10 units will take advantage of our ability. They will take advantage of our ability. Two, four, six. So he has to attack like that. Okay. Okay, that, that actually works out. Two, four. Three, four, five. Alright, we'll kill that then. I wanted to get to that already, but... Hey, I guess we can't get all... Everything that we want now, can we? <coughs> oh, I guess we can get everything we want. Never mind me. Three, four, five. And we'll attack with that one. Because we want to keep our heavy tank healthier since it can't counterattack. That's always how I look at it, at least. That's always how I look at it. Alright, and we will take care of that. By take care of that, I mean kill it in a violent manner. Uh, the worst that could happen is this gets a card. Alright. Playing this now, just because... He's not going to be attacking us anytime soon. And I want to make all my cards do something. And this card currently was not doing anything. 
And the worst that can happen is he deploys a light tank, moves it up, and then hits it with his HQ, but... <coughs> Sorry, but if that did happen... <coughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. If that did happen, we would be drawing a card from him, so that would be okay with us, really. So really, there was only good things that could come from that. Alright. Eh. Uh, yeah, this is pretty immune to a lot of things. Because, yeah, it could get attacked, but if it gets attacked by a unit, it deals 4 damage. If it gets if it gets attacked by Artie, it replaces itself. So, either it deals 4 damage, or it replaces itself. Either of those is good. Either of those to this is good. Alright, that's okay. Did 4 damage for 3, that's not bad, really. It's a slightly more efficient version of Hammer. If you look at it that way, it's a better Hammer. There's a more efficient hammer because. And cool, we drew another one. Cool. I do like the T82, it is a fairly efficient unit. Okay, we'll move this up, we'll move this back, we'll move this here, and then we'll shoot. And then we'll end our turn. A. So that's eight. I haven't drawn my offensive squad yet. My Gunner's NG. I put Gunner's NG in here, and I want to use it. <coughs> it's kind of saddening. So the worst that can happen here is we get some healing. We're not going to lose card advantage over giving him a couple free cards, because he has four cards. We have twice as many cards as he does. We have nine cards. More than twice as many cards as he does. And I am recording, right? Yes, good. Good, good, good. I am recording. That's very good. Alright, so he did shoot that. So he did shoot that, and look, we're back up to almost full. We're almost back up to full, guys, so if he attacks into that, that'd be that'd be kinda bad for him. So I want him to attack into that. Because I mean what's bad for him is good for us. Okay, cool. Cool. Now we will be back up to full. See those those crushes were not relevant in any way. So yeah, we definitely want to kill that like that. We do want to cycle this card. I probably want to replace the help for the front. Possibly. Oh, oops. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter. I had nothing that could do one damage. Because I wanted to use it to mill some of his deck. Because why not? Why not mill his deck? Is the question here. Three, six, eight, three, six, eight to his three. So we still have twice as many cards as him. He's going to take one. And we'll still have more than twice as many cards as him. Because so we had eight, now now we have seven to his three. Seven is over double what three is. Oh. Even more card advantage. So again, those crushes are not relevant. Like, seriously, don't run those in your deck if you're not a aggro deck. Aw, oh, he didn't even let's have Brighead Captor. Aw. How lame. This guy was lame, you know. It's not bad. Alright, on to the next one. Oh, wow. And for once, I instantly queue. I even stopped the recording and everything. I didn't have to stop the recording or anything. Oh, there it is. It is an arty slot. I forgot to check that. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Mm. Six. And yeah, this is actually a good hand. And we are going first again. We got lucky with this this time. We got really lucky with this this time. 
this is actually a really good squad. This is a really good squad. Sure, it deals one damage to our HQ, but we'll heal that back because we'll kill that unit that can't counterattack. We'll kill a unit that can't counterattack. It's actually really good that it deals one damage to our HQ instead of to this squad because if it, like, if it was dealt to that squad, it would kind of suck. It really kind of suck because then, then we wouldn't be able to um, uh, do it all the time. But we're able to do it all the time, which is cool. Which is really cool. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven. So yeah, we will. I guess we don't have to support that because it's not the uh, most dangerous thing on his board right now. It's not at all the most dangerous thing on his board. But it is giving him eight, but we will kill it next turn. Six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, why, why be greedy? <laughs> why be greedy? This is a one for one. We'll take it. We'll take it. I think it was already damaged, so... Doesn't matter that we took it after shooting him, because he already was a damaged HQ. So now he has a damaged HQ, that's okay. Uh, four, eight... Hey, that's actually a good thing that we took that. <coughs> <coughs> that's a very good thing that we took that, because now he couldn't kill this. He couldn't manage to kill this, so that's good. That's good for us. It's very good for us. Very, very good for us. Right, we are actually going to kill that with the uh, Artie because we want him to draw a card because it mills him out faster. And then we'll take care of that, like that. We'll deal with that. I don't know why I always want to say take care of because it makes it sound like it's a positive thing that we're doing, but we're not at all doing a positive thing for that unit. And we'll deploy this down here, then we'll shoot his HQ. Shoot his HQ. Miss Stewart is going to actually do a lot of work for us because it can it can bear down six damage, well seven damage on something with its one, of course, with its one. So it can bear down six arty damage onto anything it wants, like that right there. Like that right there is a good example. But it can't kill it. It can't at all kill it. If I draw a hammer, I might want to consider that. Might really want to consider that. Mm. It's not a hammer. So we'll move this up. We'll move this down. We'll actually throw down the cops first. Oh, that's a hammer. Put this down. Next turn, we can kill that. We can kill that next turn if he doesn't deploy anything, but if he deploys anything, we'll, there's still a good chance we'll kill that. So, that'll be okay. There's a really good chance we'll kill that, or whatever he deploys. We'll, we'll handle it, guys. Don't, don't at all worry. We will handle it. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10 is 8. Oh, he didn't bring support either. Ooh. Ooh, did not notice that. So, this did not make him discard a card. This did not at all make him discard a card. But that's still good for us because we still had card advantage because he didn't bring support. Pretty big card advantage because he didn't bring a really good card because support is really good. up and we'll go and handle something else hmm hmm might want to keep this as a somewhat nasty surprise for him a somewhat nasty surprise but I want that two damage on there so I'm actually going to Drop this, and I'll just use the ability. 
And I'll do that two damage there. 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. To his 7, 8. 4, 8, 9, 10. 4, 8, 9, 10. To his 8 again. 8 again, okay. 3, 4. 4, 5, 6. Alright. So this is going to deal that damage, and that damage, that's four, five, and six. This is moving up, this is moving up, this is being deployed. And this is also being deployed. And there we go. So we're 11 cards to his 7 cards. 11 cards to 7 is pretty pretty okay. See, if you want mercenaries, like what I would recommend is swapping out the... Um, what's it called? What's it called? The help for the fronts for the... Like, you know, the help for the front swap out for the T2LT. I think think is what it's called. I think that's what it's called, the T2LT. <coughs> okay, so we're just going to do that. And then we will hit that for four with our HQ. It's quite a big hit. I don't know why we're charging him because we won't win this game like this. So let's just keep being a bit defensive. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 10, 11. But there was no other good way of killing that. No other good way at all of killing that. But this damage won't be relevant. Won't at all be relevant. Okay. Okay, that's fine. But we can deal two like that. And we can keep our gunners alive. We can keep our gunners alive. Okay. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. To his 8. Eight. I wish he played more cards so I could remove them and get a bigger card advantage and mill him out because I think that's how we're going to win is I'm going to mill him out he should have probably three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine three and that will be seven, eight, nine okay We'll do it like this. We'll take that one damage to our HQ. Oh, and we can do like like this to optimize our damage even more and take that one healing away from him for that unit dying. Alright, and let's just hope he deploys something so we can get this T40 down. Alright. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. <coughs> We're not down on time or anything. Not down at all on time or anything like that. So we will be able to... We will be able to mill all of his cards away from him. All of his cards away from him. Hmm. So we'll do this. And we won't worry much about his healing this time. Because why worry about his healing when that's not our win condition? Like, why? 
It's, it's pointless to worry about his healing when it's not our win condition. 5, 10, 12. It is 8, 12 to 8. He, he hasn't been using his hand. That's probably one of his problems, is he needs to deploy cards more. And Buddy, buddy, buddy. We're, we're not killing you like that. I'm, I'm sorry. You're, we're not killing you that way. <coughs> you're not... Like, we're not going to win through damaging you. I'm sorry, but we're not. I mean, we might, but we're probably not. Like, we're not going for that. Like, I'm just going to slow play this, because slow playing is safer here. He's, he'll never be able to gain a boarded advantage. He'll never be able to gain a card advantage. And he'll just be pretty sad for the rest of his life. Well, not the rest of his life, but the rest of this game. I hope he's not sad the rest of his life, actually. I hope he's happy with his life. Because being sad with the rest of your life is pretty pretty bad, really. It's really pretty bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's probably going to be very happy when he sees that squad go away, but... But this is how I'm going to win this game, is I am going to mill him to death. Come on, play the card, play the card, there we go, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, 8, 9, 10, 12 to his 7, so yeah, he is, he is losing cards while we're gaining cards. So that's okay. That's very okay for us to have him lose cards while we gain. Probably is going to shoot that, yeah. That's the right decision. That's very much so the right decision. I love that phrase, you know, very much so. Alright, this is going to not be counterattacking, because I said it doesn't get to. might be able to mill him out and do most of the damage to him. And we'll pull this back, just so it doesn't die or anything. Just so it doesn't die at all or anything. We'll end our turn, not attacking with the HQ, because we want to keep this kind of alive. I like the dogs in it. I really like the dogs in it. <coughs> so we're still at our 12 cards to his 6, so 12 to 6 is okay. our victory. Now let's just get all the damage we can out of this. There's two, four. So we already won, but I just I just want to get more damage. Because more damage is fine. Well, and we want to get those resources spent, I guess. Could have gotten one more by putting that there, but he would have probably killed it. Would have probably killed it. So, yep, that's good game. That right there is good game. And we're probably done recording for the time. Number 15, that's pretty pretty okay. I do like the four parsons tactic and Brighead Captor. Just try to metal farm is what I try to do sometimes. Hey, that was pretty okay earnings. Alright, so I think that should be probably good because I have like 10 24 uh, 39 minutes. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video was long enough for you. Um, and I'll... Oh, yeah. 
I love you all. Have very good days. Please leave feedback in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Have wonderful days. Goodbye.